Today I'm going to talk about image sensors and crop factor. Crop factor is when you have a sensor smaller than the standard size and then you give a crop factor to it like 1.5x which means it's smaller by a certain amount. So everything re revolves around the full frame 35 millimeter standard. So that's 36 millimeters wide by 24 millimeters high and that gets a 1x crop factor. And then you go down to most digital SLRs, all of the entry-level ones, the mid-grade ones. They have a crop factor of 1.5 to 1.6, and those are called APS-C. And then you move down a little bit more, you have the four-thirds standard. That has a crop factor of 2, so those are smaller than APS-C. And then you keep moving down, you've got the digicams, you've got the cell phone cameras, all the small censored cameras, those have a crop factor of around 4 to 6x. So you can see those are significantly smaller than most sensors. The benefits of different sensor sizes, let's talk about that. So with a large sensor, like a full frame sensor, larger pixels, so each pixel will be able to gather more light. That means you've got better dynamic range, you've got lower noise in high ISO situations. So the larger pixels are generally better. Control of depth of field, which basically means the amount of sharpness defined mostly by your lens's aperture, how large or wide that opening inside your lens is at. Control of the depth of field, you can get thinner depth of field with a larger sensor. Let's say, for example, you have a small digicam. Notice it's really difficult to get the blurred backgrounds, but if you use a full-frame camera, it's very easy in comparison. So that's a benefit of the large sensors. Number of pixels. You can generally have more pixels in a larger area. That's not really true with some digicams. They try to shove as many pixels as possible into those tiny sensors. It doesn't really benefit you that much. It's better to have more pixels with a larger sensor. So that's about it for basics of sensors and crop factor. It's a pretty simple concept when you look at the actual reality of it. It's just a smaller or larger sensor and there are certain properties that relate to the size. Thanks.